Eddie House, Amina Smith here with you. The Celtics with a win against the Pelicans, 118-112. to And Eddie, coming into tonight's matchup, I did not think it would be this tough of a game for the Celtics trying to get a win on the home court. But what was the big storyline for you? I didn't think it was going to be this tough either. I understood that it would be a task, but it wouldn't. It, I didn't think it was going to take this long to pull away from them and, and – uh, have to do it in the fashion that they did to where, you know, you people look up and be like, we might be losing. We might lose this game. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody was thinking about, like, oh, well, what's going to happen out here? What what are we doing? <laughs> right, at, at some point. But I think Derek White in the fourth quarter, you know, uh, I, at, at the six minute, is around the six minute mark where Jalen Brown hit him with that three. From that point on, I thought that he was just, he was phenomenal. He came up with big time shots. And I thought that the team fed off of that. And they were able to get this win. First off, the Pelicans ain't no punk. They not mm -hmm. a bad team. They're not bad coach. They just don't have all of the pieces to put it together right now. And at the end, Celtics showed that they were a better team. And Derek White putting the Celtics on his shoulders in that fourth quarter. 14 points out of him to finish this game in that quarter. He's with Abby Chin after this win. Derek, you guys were down eight with about eight minutes to go and then went on a 25 to nine run. Can you take me through the comeback? Stuck together. Um, things weren't going well for us uh, most of that game, but we stuck together. Um, got the stops we needed to and we were able to make some shots down here. So uh, if things aren't going well, it's good to get a win still. At what point could you feel the momentum shift? Uh, I mean, we probably started the third quarter. I could feel it a little bit, but I mean, they're a good team. They make they made runs. So a lot of talented players on that roster. So uh, we're at a battle and, and get a win. This morning at shoot around, you smirked at the insinuation that you were in any kind of shooting slump. Told us you would continue to keep shooting. Whatever it was, you busted out of it here in the fourth. Perfect from the floor, five for five, three for three from three. What was it? Uh, I was struggling most of the game. Uh, shout out to my teammates, the coaches. I'm not going to do it without them. They encouraged me the whole time. And, and uh, shout out to them. And, and like I said this morning, man, just put the ball in the hoop. You did that. You also told us this morning you learned something from every game. What did this game teach you about your team? I mean, it's not always going to be perfect. Um, energy, whatever it might be, long season. But uh, we just got to find new ways to win each and every game. And we, we did that today. Derek, congratulations. Appreciate it. The Celtics turned things around in that fourth quarter, going on a 33-11 to 11 run, down 11 at the 10-minute mark, up at a, by 11 at about the one-minute mark left in this game. You heard Derek White say in the third quarter he felt like this team was coming back. But, Eddie, what changed in that fourth quarter? Well, you, you, they got stops. I mean, yeah, when you look at it in the, the overall numbers, it still shows that New Orleans shot a, a pretty good percent from the field. But they got stops and then they made shots. When they got the stops, they were able to create something for themselves and create offense. It wasn't just a back and forth, a back and forth. And they just imposed. I thought in the fourth quarter, they just imposed their will. They showed that they were the better team, the stronger team, the deeper team. And to me, that's what happened. The Pelicans, they led by as much as 17 points in tonight's matchup. And you heard Derek White talk about it right there. He talked about the comeback for this Celtics team. Welcome and scout in as well. But, Eddie, what does it say about the resiliency of this team that they did not lay down even though this matchup was tough? Well, I think that's been the ongoing theme for this team is their resiliency. I mean, we've seen them be down in, in many situations, whether it be early in the game, not playing well, but still find a way to win basketball games. And every game you win is not going to be pretty. It's not going to be the best game that you ever play. You still have to find ways to win no matter how you do it. And credit to New Orleans. They came in, and it's the one thing the Celtics need to understand that they're always going to get the best shot from every team. And everybody is using them as a measuring stick. You know what I mean? That's the bar that you measure yourself is against the Celtics. The Celtics is a, is one of the standards in this league, right? So you're going to, you're going to face young teams that are hungry, trying to make their bones in this league. They're going to come out and they're going to attack you to be resilient, to go down, and still find a way to win. Play the right way. That's the main thing. I thought they played the right way in the fourth quarter for sure, defensively and the way they shared the basketball and, and guys got aggressive when they needed to. Scal, Derek White with 14 points in the fourth quarter. How did he light the fire for the Celtics? 
You know, he wasn't playing well offensively up until that point. Jalen Brown made the right play. You hear Eddie just talk about making the right play in the fourth quarter. Kicks it out to D. White. He, he makes that shot. And from then on, he just had like another mm -hmm. tick of aggressiveness. He had that one where he shot that floater off the glass. Then he had that one where he pivoted and got that left-hand layup. And then Tatum was looking for him. So, you know, it only takes one with those star players. And you think with Derek White, we've seen him so many times in the fourth quarter make big shots. You know, I think it's these guys just finally got that momentum. And I like what they did defensively. We should just bring up the fact that when Zion went to the bench and came back in, Jalen Brown picked up Zion Williamson, and there was nothing more. Like, Zion did not try to dominate from that point on. And it seemed like to me every time Zion wanted to get a good, a, a good shot, he can get it. But for whatever reason, he did not try to attack Jalen Brown. The Pelicans, they led by 10 at the halfway. Mark Scout, what allowed New Orleans to stay out front in this matchup? In the, in the first half? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just I just didn't think that. I thought that when we missed shots, we were affected defensively. I just, it was a lot of, like, for the first six minutes, we were cool. And then we missed some more shots, and there was a lot of, like, shoulders, you know, slumping down. Like, wow, man, what are we doing? Why can't we make any buckets? And then the second half started, and they just kind of played good basketball. Chipped away a little bit. Zion made some tough plays. We played Celtic basketball. And then in the fourth quarter, we just talked about all the Derek White plays. And, and, and the Celtics just stayed the course. And they're just on a different level. Zion, I don't, it's, I'm not trying to be disrespectful to him because, like, it is hard to carry a team. It's really hard to carry a team. you got to be in incredible conditioning. And he is not there yet. It doesn't mean he's out of shape. He's not out of shape. He's just not on that level where you could put a team on your back and have to do it. And, and when he's not shooting any jumpers, Amina and Eddie, he's going to the cup. He's hitting people. And you could tell when he ran out of gas, it was like, man, they need to get him out of the game. So I think Willie Green will figure that out as they go, and, and they'll be able to pick that up. But, but Zion's a force. He's a force of nature. He's a, he's a joy to watch. But he's just not on that elite level conditioning where he could put a team on his back like that.